Okay. Uh, for our second example, we're going to uh, evaluate the integral of x sine x dx. We have the formula for the integral of sine x, remember? But the problem here is we have uh, another function here, which is x, so uh, that would affect the computation of the integral uh, of sine x. So what we will do here is, again, apply the uh, formula for integration by parts. Um, because we want actually this x to be reduced later no, to 1 at least so that we are left eventually with uh, sine x then we can easily evaluate the integral of sine x dx so again uh, let's decide for our u okay um, both are differentiable x has a derivative sine x also has a derivative so the problem here is which of them should be chosen for our u now be careful on how you choose your for your u because uh, if you have uh, incorrectly choose uh, an expression for your u that would actually lead you to a more complicated expression um, uh, I think we have we have a hint given by uh, the lecturer in the video that I sent to you, okay? That lady lecturer there, uh, which says that uh, uh, she has what we call um, an acronym, no, of uh, those letters telling you uh, which ones should first be. Uh, taken as your u okay uh, remember we have the logarithm then um, the rest but there, there's also what you call algebraic uh, function and the trigonometric is actually placed after the algebraic so that means that here x is algebraic and sine x is is uh, trigonometric so that means that the most logical uh, choice for our u is x, okay? And your du, of course, is the derivative of x, which is uh, dx. Now, obviously, your sine x is your dv. So that would be sine x dx. Then we evaluate the integral of both sides. Of course, the integral of dv is v. Well, the integral of sine x uh, dx is what? That's negative cosine x. Okay. So, we have the value for our... We have, we have the expression for u, du, dv, and v. We're now going to uh, substitute this to the integration... Uh, by parts formula uh, following that we have u which is x we have v which is uh, negative cosine x then minus integral of v which is negative cosine x then du which is dx then simplifying we have negative x cosine x of course the negative can be multiplied with this negative here outside so we have plus integral of cosine x dx and then we have negative x cosine x plus what is the integral of cosine x dx okay that would be sine x plus c. And we have the uh, integral of x sine x dx. 
Let's proceed also to the, our third example. Okay, and this time, um, I'm going to use the function integral of tangent inverse of x dx. This is another uh, function which cannot be evaluated, the integral cannot be evaluated using the uh, basic integration formulas that we have previously. So we can evaluate the integral of this by using integration by parts. Again, we decide for our u, following again the acronym, no? uh, since we have no choice here because this is a trigonometric uh, function, so we're going to choose this for our u, okay? tangent inverse of x. Uh, again, we choose this for our u because we cannot choose dx for our u. Okay? And in fact, the derivative of tangent inverse x uh, exists, right? Okay. So if your u is equal to tangent inverse x, then your du is... Remember, what is the derivative of tangent inverse of x? So you remember that, that's actually equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared dx, okay? And your dv is, guess what? Of course, that's uh, dx. And integrating both sides, we have v equals x, okay? We now substitute. Uh, following the formula so first we have u which is tangent inverse of x times uh, v which is x minus uh, integral of v which is x and du which is 1 over 1 plus x squared dx okay continuing we have x it can be written as x tangent inverse x then minus what about this one we can write this as 1 over 1 plus x squared times x uh, dx well I have a reason why I, I put the x here instead of just leave it here okay that's because uh, I, I actually plan to use the formula if you if you recall the formula uh, integral of 1 over u du for this one okay where your u is 1 plus uh, x squared okay but what is your du so if you for, as far as this one is concerned you know uh, to evaluate for the integral of this, you choose for your u, your u actually, this is no longer integration by parts, by the way, okay? This is just the basic integration uh, that we did last time. Uh, your u, of course, is 1 plus uh, x squared, and your du is uh, 2x dx. Now, it says this formula requires that the du must be present. Uh, but the du is 2x dx. Here we have x dx, but we don't have the 2. So what we're going to do is to multiply this by 2. Uh, but remember to multiply outside with 1 half, okay? So that you have 1 half integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared, which is actually your u, and the 2x dx, which is actually your du so this is now of the form integral of 1 over u du right so that uh, continuing with our computation we have x tangent inverse x minus 1 half of integral of 1 over u 1 over u du is what from the from this formula, remember this is equal to ln of the absolute value of u. So therefore, this is 
ln of the absolute value of 1 plus x squared. Then your constant of integration. Of course, you can just uh, uh, replace the absolute value sign with uh, close and open parentheses because for whatever value of x, your 1 plus x squared is always positive. Okay, so we have this as our answer for the integral of tangent inverse x uh, dx. Um, later, we're going. I, I'm going to post a video for more complicated uh, problem. Okay, those that requires uh, integration by parts. Uh, more than uh, two times or even maybe even three times there are actually interesting formulas that you can uh, derive uh, using integration by part so watch out for our next videos